Introducing the Make Noise X-Pan. Headphones are strongly recommended for this video. For a long time, we have had the capability of mixing several voices in the Make Noise system, but we have typically been confined to a mono output. With the X-Pan, we no longer have this limitation. Here is what this stereo three-voice sequence would have sounded like in mono. Again, please put your headphones on. Let's now hear it in stereo thanks to the X-Pan. I'll show you how it works. The X-Pan is a compact, powerful, five-channel voltage-controlled stereo mixer in 10HP. It is a collection of channels for mixing and directing signals in a stereo field. It consists of two full-featured channels and one simpler channel. The top two channels each have two inputs whose relative level is set by a voltage-controlled crossfader. The result of this crossfade is then sent to the left and or right sum outputs based on the setting of a voltage controlled stereo panorama. panorama. Both crossfade and pan CV inputs respond well to audio rate modulation for all types of sonic, sonic experimentation. experimentation. With the crossfader, create a new signal from two different signals in a modulator. Audio rate panning produces fluctuating stereo sidebands that can rotate around your head. The third channel is a stereo VCA that is summed with the other two channels. All three channels appear mixed together at the stereo sum outputs. The X-Pan uses high quality VCAs to achieve extremely low noise and distortion, and to leave plenty of headroom for the up to five signals it can mix together and route. X-Fade has only one input patched, it functions as a transparent and snappy VCA. The X-Pan is highly responsive to control signals. Because there are no onboard attenuators, it is recommended that you carefully tailor your control voltage sources to achieve the desired effect. Maths is of course a great tool for this. Let's do some random panning using an attenuated output from Wogglebug. The incoming control voltage is always added to the position of the panel control. Let's sequence this voice and add another. and add some crossfading to the second voice, and some panning. There are many sweet spots to be found in the relation between X-Fade and Pan CV rates, leading to interesting psychoacoustic effects. The 
X-Pan is direct coupled at the inputs and outputs for use as a processor of control voltage. Try patching a slow LFO to the PAN CV input to route a faster LFO between two modulation destinations. Here we are routing CV between modulation of the DPO's fold and shape controls. It could also be fun to use the PAN modulator to also control the speed of the modulator that is being routed. Let's use that slower modulator to sequence the DPO as well for additional entangled modulation. The X-Pan is a powerful bridge in a modular synthesizer. Transform monophonic sounds into stereo sounds. Mix stereo sounds together. Construct interesting material to feed other stereo processors. We'll show detailed examples of all this and more in the coming weeks, so stay tuned.